welcome back to Willow Tree Woodworking. If you're new here, thanks for checking this out. So are you fairly new to laser engraving, laser cutting, and you want to know how to do a simple project just to get your feet wet and get yourself kicked off? If you have a diode laser or a CO2 laser, this will work on either one. In today's video, we're going to do a very simple project. We're going to actually make a pair of earrings. I'm going to show you how to design them in Lightburn. Very simple process. We'll take them over to the laser, we'll get that design cut out, We'll get them painted up and put some hooks on them and create a set of earrings that you can give to anybody that you like. This is a very simple project, very easy to do in Lightburn. Designing in Lightburn is you know, one of the simplest things that you can do. It doesn't require you to have any external programs or anything like that. This is just a dead simple program. Again, thanks for tuning in. And if this is something that you're interested in seeing, stick around. All right, y'all, so let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to go grab a design. So there's two ways that we can do this. Either one, we can go into Lightburn and we can design just straight up in Lightburn. Um, we can create like some simple images, like say you want to do a rounded earring or a set of hoop earrings or something like that. You can just go into Lightburn and use some of the basic tools. Uh, for this design, I want to pick something a little bit different. I thought we'd do kind of like a unique heart-shaped uh, cross-looking um, earring, which I've designed before. So I think that this would be something that's fairly easy for everybody to do. So let's, uh, let's switch over to Google and let's go find an image and then we'll take that image into Lightburn and uh, I'll show you how to trace it out and how to create the earrings. So, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to Google and let's go to Google here and I'm gonna search for heart vector. Um, this, this is the design that I wanna do. Um, you can pretty much search anything you want in here. Um, I like to go underneath images once I do a search. I like to change my tools and I like to do type of being a line drawing because I find you know, line drawings are really, really easy to take into Lightburn um, and, and do a trace on it. And I also like to change the color to say, you know, black and white just because it kind of narrows things down for me. So um, make sure that whatever image that you're taking, uh, that you are not infringing on somebody's copyright, that you're not, you know, pilfering it from somebody that's actually selling it. Like you can see this earring that we're going to use, it's actually sold on Etsy. Um, so make sure that you go out and you buy that if you're actually going to use it. So, um, but I'm just going to switch back here to all. Uh, I'm going to click on an image right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it here and I'm just going to copy the image. And then I'm going to switch over to Lightburn and I'm going to paste my image in here. I'm just going to expand it a little bit so I can see it better. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to the trace image option. Um, and that's going to bring up another window for me. Now you can play around in here if you want. It depends on uh, what the design is that you're actually doing. If you're doing a simple design like this, you really don't have to change anything. But if you come across something that's got you know a lot of little intricate circles or diamonds or different pieces to it, uh, the threshold tool is really kind of what you would use to sort of zoom in and zoom out. Um, and that way you can get kind of like the best design. I find if you click on the fade image, then you can see the line a lot better. And so right now we're just going to go down to about 90, let's say 95, because that looks pretty good. And I can zoom in and zoom out and see how well that circle is turning out, how well my image is coming out. So I'm just going to click on OK right here. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to drag my image off because now I don't need to use it anymore. I'm done. All right, so now that I have my image, uh, I'm just going to highlight it here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just so we can see what we're working with. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a very simple cross to this. So I'm just going to go up to the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to create a very simple cross. Highlight them both. I'm just going to go up here and make sure that they are aligned center. And then I'm going to weld them together. Click on the weld tool over on the left hand side. So now I got my cross and I'm going to drag my cross over here to my heart shape. And what I'm trying to do is I want to make sure that I am like touching different pieces of the heart so that this all kind of welds together. And you'll see what I mean here in just a minute. So I'm just kind of like moving it along. You can see down here that it's you know crossing over the heart all the way around. 
the heart shape. Then I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to grab the cross and I'm going to go back over here to the weld tool and I'm just going to weld it together. And now you can see that it's made this all kind of one piece. Now, something I like to do is just, you know, maybe change the radius a little bit. Um, even though I think this kind of looks cool, I think that it might look a little bit neater with the radius tool. So I'm going to go down here to radius and, you know, three nine fours is pretty big. So I'm just going to switch it over to, let's do like one five. So now that I set my radius, I have to go back and I have to make this kind of a single piece. So if you go up here to the top, you click on the single icon, then I can go down here and I can grab my radius tool and I can go to the corners here. And I'm just, once you click on it, you'll see that it gives you all these little nodes. I'm just going to soften these edges right here and this one down here. And that's it. That's our design. So we're going to highlight this whole thing. We're just going to group it just to keep it all as one piece. Um, we need to add one last thing, and that's like a circle over here, just you know, so that we can put our uh, our hook on there for the earring itself. So I'm going to hold. I'm going to grab the circle tool. I'm going to hold the shift key down, and I'm just going to drag out a circle. And then I'm going to bring that over, and I'm going to position it kind of where I want it. So you can put it pretty much anywhere that you want. I mean, it just depends on how you want these earrings to hang. I think they would look kind of cool if they're like you know hanging down where the, the small piece of the heart is at the bottom of the, uh, the drop and, and the cross. So, um, so I'm just going to zoom in here and I just want to make sure that I get this in a really nice little position because I want, want some, uh, some good spacing on each side um, so that when I put the hook in here, it actually holds on nicely and doesn't, uh, doesn't break. If you move it out to the edge a little bit too much, you know, you, you come across the fear of like, you know, cutting out too small of a hole and <clears throat> your hoop will kind of break off or your, you know, your, your drop hook will, will break off. So, um, so once I kind of get it where I want it, I'm just going to reposition here a little bit. That looks good. I'm just going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to group it. And now you can see that's my design. So right now I just have it as a black line because we're going to cut it, but uh, let's see, this is what it would look like. You know, this is what it's going to look like when it's cut out as a solid shape. So let's go back here to line. Um, and then one of the things that I like to do is I want to make sure that uh, I'm setting my speed and power. So I am using the Monport 80 watt CO2 laser, really fast laser, great laser. Um, but know that you can do this on a diode. You're just, your settings are going to be a little bit different than what mine are. So let's go up here to our layer, let's open it up. And because I'm using the mod port, I'm going to set my speed at 25 and my power at 75 because I find that works really well for my cutting. And then of course, you know, you want to have air assist on. Anytime that you're cutting something out, you want to have air assist. So make sure that's turned on. And then I just like to go and label this exactly what it is that I'm doing. And I'm doing a cut. Now say I was doing something, you know, if this was a fill, for example, like I was doing an engrave. Um, then you want to switch these these settings around to something different. This is where you get into your lines per inch. I always typically do, you know, 320. I like to have air assist on when I do engrave as well, um, just because I find that it blows all that soot out of the way and it gives me a much cleaner image. But, uh, you know, that's kind of debatable. Some people like to use air assist, some people don't. But so. so let's just cancel that. Let's go back here to line. And we need to set the height because right now we are sitting at 14 inches. Um, and if you want to work in millimeters, all you have to do is go over here to where it says IN, change that, and it'll switch over to millimeters. I like to work in inches. That's just what I'm familiar with. So um, make sure that the lock icon is on so that you don't distort your image. And I'm going to set this to just be, I want it to be like two inches in height. So I'm just going to set it to two inches. And that's it. And so now you can see here's our design. So once I have my design in place, um, I'm going to highlight it again. I'm going to duplicate it because we're making earrings. So of course we want to. And then I'm going to go to the range tool and I'm just going to flip it horizontally. And there's my set of earrings. Simple, simple.
All right, so next I'm going to go cut these out on the laser and uh, then we'll get to painting. So stick around. So here's our earrings cut out. As you can see, they turned out pretty nice. Um, one thing that I do recommend if you see, you can see some kind of like a little bit of soot on there or a little bit of burn mark. So when you're cutting out small pieces like this, I always recommend that you use some masking, um, some laser masking, which you can get on Amazon. Or if you have blue painter's tape, that works great too. So just makes it for a much cleaner, uh, much cleaner cutout. So next we're going to paint these up and get some hooks on them. And kind of sky's the limit when you come when it comes to painting. You know, you can paint the cross a different color if you want. You can paint the heart a different color. I mean, it's really up to your creativity. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spray paint these because I find that's pretty simple and pretty fast. And I'm going to use uh, antique bronze. So you'll see what these look like in just a few minutes. All right, y'all. So here's our earrings all painted up now. I just did a few different sets. Now, in order for us to finish these, we're going to need a couple tools, a couple different pairs of pliers here that I'm going to use, and that's just to help me attach the earring hooks. So I'm going to move everything aside, get my camera set up here, and uh, we'll put these together. All right, so I also picked up a, a little kit here. Um, I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but this kit essentially has, you know, all the little earring pieces, and you can get these on Amazon for fairly cheap. I think pretty much like a whole big kit for. 200 pieces or so is like under 10 bucks or something so it goes a long way <clears throat> so i'm just going to pull a couple pieces out of here and we're going to use two of these little hooks and kind of see what they look like let's see one of those And then I got a couple little rings here too that we're gonna use as well. And there's different sizes in here. So, all right. So let's uh, let's put these together. And I got fairly big hands, so you'll have to forgive me. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these little rings, and we're just gonna bend it open. Just slightly, not a whole lot. We'll put that through here. Then we're gonna attach a hook to that. And then we're simply gonna bring it back together. Add that piece on. And we're just going to simply 
pinch this right back together. And you can use both sets of pliers for this, or you can use your fingers, whichever you find easier. give it a good squeeze there we go there's our first earring all right do the same thing with the other one I don't know if you how well you can see that but essentially on these rings there's like a little bend right in the center there so you just grab it you just give it a slight twist and that way it opens it up and we'll do the same thing Let's slide it through our earring loop add on our other piece and then we're just going to pinch this right back together let's bring it right up here that one came together a little bit easier. Give it a little squeeze. Make sure we have this all nice and flat together. Make sure it's not going to come off. we go. And there's our second earring. So here we have our nice little set. Pretty simple, very easy project to do. And like I said, you know, sky's the limit when it comes to, uh, to painting. I did a set that was in red. Um, I did a set that was in purple. So you can design these however you like, color them however you like. There we have it. There's our set of earrings. Very simple project to do. Um, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe, like the video, leave any comments down there, and I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody has. Thanks again for tuning in.